what's up people it's elevated mondays man i literally just finished doing a quick 50 minute jog here yeah? and while i was jogging like i was just thinking to myself because last night i had the most elevated talk with my boy on the phone in it like it was just chatting right just you know catching up on things in life and all that and then we just started talking about goals and everything that we want to do right and he said some stuff that really just stuck with me so i'm about to share that with you guys you know what i mean like we were talking about you know long-term goals you know what i mean like the goals that are sustainable you know what i mean and he was talking about his career you know what i mean like he's talking about his career because he's a sportsman right so he's talking about his career how he started a little bit late and how some people might see that as a bit of a disadvantage you know what i mean because usually these days when you're a sportsman, when you're an athlete, you got stuck, like, you know, a sportswoman, you got stuck at a young age, right? So, we're talking about this and he said something that really just stuck with me. He mentioned that, basically, it's about two things, right? Patience and technique, right? So, and I totally agree, do you know what I mean? It's all about patience and technique. Obviously, there's the basics, there's, you know, all other stuff that goes into it. But if you get those two things right, you're right. Like, let me tell you why we mentioned impatience, right? Now, imagine you're running like what? 10K uh, marathon. You need endurance. The one thing that you definitely need is endurance. Do you know what I mean? When you're running 100 meter sprint, you don't need that much endurance. Do you know what I mean? You need power. Do you know what I mean? So, that's two different things. Now, when we're talking about goals that are sustainable in the long run, you need endurance, do you know I mean? You need patience, do you know I mean? Like, without patience, you're not going to overcome all those hardships, do you know what I mean? You're not going to overcome all those hardships because it's not going to be easy. Let me tell you something, all right? It's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. Things are going to be thrown at you, all right? Things are going to be coming from all sorts of directions and just trying to mess things, mess things up. So that's why we're talking about endurance and he was telling me that right now he's practicing endurance he's practicing endurance so that way when when it comes to him being a professional athlete he's going to need that to last him for for the rest of his career to me but not only for the rest of his career but for whatever match that he might have right and that totally makes perfect sense now technique you need that because you need the planning you know what i mean you need the technique for you to be able to execute those goals do you know i mean like take for example if you're doing boxing right when you get in that ring and let me tell you something i've done it before do you know i mean i practiced the technique but when i got in the ring i chucked all that technique outside of the window do you know I, mean? <laughs> I completely lost it do you know what i mean so and the plan went outside the window now you need the plan and that technique because that's what's gonna allow you to execute those goals do you know what i mean so as we were talking about these things there it just really just stuck with me and i said i put myself i'll share that with you because at the end of the day you might be wondering why you know i use a lot of sports and athletes analogy but i honestly do believe like sportsmen and sports women they are literally the physical embodiment of all these things that you need in life you know things such as quality patience endurance love um power you know like motivation inspiration do i mean like they literally live it they breathe it do i mean each and every day and you can actually see it physically do i mean and you can actually feel it emotionally when you're watching them so that's why i tend to use a lot of sports analogy it literally just resonates with me and i'm sure you all can agree right so i thought i'd just share that with you because it really just stuck with me and i totally do agree do i mean obviously there's a lot of things like basics and stuff that you need in life here yeah? but if you're trying to build goals long-term goals you're going to need patience you're going to need that each and every day especially when it comes to terms of hardship and you're going to need your planning and your technique to be able to execute those goals and for them to become to life all right now i'll just leave you all with the uh, you're say elevated and that's elevated talk 